Hello everyone, Crystal Vizier here, and welcome to the Sorceress's Lair, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, Spyro 3. This is the, well, it's not quite the final boss, but it's the second to last boss. Yes, that spoils that there's a there's a boss in the super bonus round, believe it or not. Here we are. Time to kick some sorceress butt. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, but that's, that's all you have to say? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, uh, you know, he's, he's short, sharp, and to the point. So this is the sorceress's lair, and, okay, you know what's interesting? I really like the, it's really, it's kind of cool that you've got the, um, you've got the, you know, the kind of, like, pinkish red to yellow, you know, gradient, like, classic, like, YouTube thumbnail color that I always use, actually. All right, so, you know, we'll get out of there. Okay. All right, so we've got to make sure. And then you've got these, like, blue, actually, the, co the color tone contrast is actually really nice. Um, like it's like it's actually like it's yeah it's actually really really cool. All right, that, has that not hit? Okay. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be this is gonna be one of those. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Let's right, have a look. All right. Oh, geez. Is that gonna hit? Okay. Let's see. There you go. Got him. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah, I actually really like that color tone there. But yes, this boss. I mean, what's your what's your opinion on this boss? I remember as a kid. I found it like moderately difficult. I remember, you know, it was very satisfying when it was done. It's interesting though. It doesn't. It does. I don't think it really lives up to the hype. And I think that that's the whole thing about um, reignited trilogy. Oh, sorry. Actually, no. Sorry. More just Spyro Three in general. Is that you know? There's there's no. You know, she's probably the most evil of the villains. You know, definitely more evil than like ripped. Uh, sorry, I was gonna say uh, nasty. Even though you could say like nasty freezes a bunch of guys. I mean, that is kind of that is pretty evil. But it's like almost like an offense, if that makes any sense. Uh, oh damn, you actually get hit from that. You get hurt from that. Um, but like your sorceress is like just plainly evil. And I think the thing with that um, is that it, you know not actually having any kind of confrontation with her before, during, or after. And I know we've talked about this a lot is a massive misstep in my opinion and it does kind of paint this it kind of gives it it kind of gives this like this boss like this this sense of like does it really matter do you know what i mean like is, is that too critical maybe it's too critical but i don't know that's sort of how i feel about it um you know i actually think the sorceress's design's pretty good it's like she's very i mean it's very strange actually when you look at it but let's see if we can this weapon here is a really weird weapon there we go, let's go again. Oh, aha, oh, yes, perfect. Um, okay, we're, we're, we're t taking the, uh, oh, there you go, pop, I saw, I saw the balloon pop it. This is, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, this is the thing in speed runs, like in the original game, it's like, this is like kind of a low key nightmare uh, for some people and can be game ruining. Um, I feel like my friend Dan Davidson had like a real struggle at one point with this. Um, okay, anyway, let's get that one, hit that one. Oh, I thought it was gonna. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking up there, right, to see if it's gonna hit the um, the guys. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to see the the inside of the castle there. It's a shame we don't. You know, yeah. Actually, yeah. I really. You know what? I'm a big fan of the backgrounds and stuff. I, I actually like. That's like the one thing I will say. This, this is like they've done a good job with this one. All right. Okay. Oh, jeez. If if uh, speedrunners are probably done by now. The music's not too bad. It feels like slightly low key. Maybe it's not loud enough for me. I gotta like put it a bit higher, but I don't know. It's like, it's okay. Um, okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, the turning circle on this is crap. There you go. Ah, oh, let's see. Aha. This is good. That's right. Let me, let me, can I shoot all these down? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. It's interesting, like, boss fights in Spyro have always kind of been, uh, you know, like, what's what's the best boss fight in the series? I think it's probably Crush or Gulp, I think. I think that's probably the best one. I don't know how much of that's nostalgia. I just think that just the way that they were done, it feels like, you know, Ripto was good, but then it has that, like, flying section at the end, which is, like, not as fun i mean it you know, takes it more into like this you know mode that you play the game where you don't really like have as much control over it, or you know different kind of control it's a bit like ratchet 3 you know i was playing through that and it's like you know, the last boss of that you know you've got this great chase sequence and like boss fight bit and then the actual end bit is basically you just in like a weapon just like shooting you know just shooting um oh damn it 
It's just like shooting a, um, you know, like shooting a ship, basically. That's all you really do. And like, that's the end. It's like, they don't even do, you know, I'm surprised they almost didn't, they didn't do like giant clank bit. But anyway, that's, that's besides the point. We'll talk about that when I get to Ratchet 3. But like, that's just a good example where it's like sometimes like, and, and then of course, you know, <laughs> wait till you see the final boss of this game. I mean, like this isn't even the final boss. It's like the actual final boss is like, what the, what the hell were they thinking? Uh, just absolutely asinine if you ask me. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Let's see if we can get this one. Got him. Oh, and drowning in lava. Face melted off. But an insulated egg. Hey, George. How you do? How you do, George? All right, very nice. She's alive. Spyro, you've just defeated a sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What do you plan to do next, hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in dragon shores, hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? What? Me? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> if, uh, if I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Hmm. Sus. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. Yeah, by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say? Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with him. Agent 9, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc? Let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoc boy? Eight laser punk? Come on now. No fair hiding. Hey, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise he'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Love it. Love the world building. How many times have I told you not to taste that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. They... <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Nice. Wow, Sergeant Bird, the ultimate wingman. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. <laughs> Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Bro, take the, take the bloody hint, mate. Mate, take the bloody hint. You moron. Wow, okay. Now, you know what? Put the uh, credits theme there. Actually, I haven't had the credits theme, yeah. Fantastic, All right, but you know what? We're not doing that now. We're not doing that now because we're, we're two for one this. Because I did an extra backtracking part and didn't combine, I'm gonna combine this with, because it was like yeah, under 10 minutes. Let's go and do the spark challenge and then we'll do the final part, the next part. And then what was it, 25th? Yeah, nah, I definitely, we'll probably start of May will be the final part, wow. All right. Let's do this. We'll talk about that. Sorry, it cuts in a sec. The sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt. She built a factory to make robotic bugs. They're meant to fight sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him. Thank you, Zoe. Or Zoe, as I think I 
thought when I was younger. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Bugbot Factory. I've never played this, by the way. This is, like, legitimately first time. All right, strafe. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so, anyway, so, you know, watching that cutscene there, and especially, you know, the way it was animated by Toys and Bob and all the teams and stuff like that, I think it's actually, you know, it makes, you, it makes me think that, like, the ending is actually kind of underrated. Um, come on. Come on. You got, can I just catch him like that? Okay. This is, like, slow as... There you go. Um, it's actually it's actually a really well put ending. The way they kind of you know have like the whole thing with you know Hunter sneaking away and you get to go to all these different worlds. You know you see Bentley, you see Agent Nine. Like they utilize the you know extra characters perfectly. I guess the one thing is that there's not many like you know the dragon. I guess because we're not really you know you see the dragons at the start, so they're not really like a massive part of it. But that's okay. It just makes me think though. It's like with a Spyro Four, like there is so much world building you can do, and like that's be honest, okay. Maybe the, look, maybe they want to make, uh, maybe they want to make Spyro, you know, a single man, a single unloved man like, uh, Kaz well, he's not unloved, Kazuma Kiryu from, uh, the, you know, the Yakuza series. But I'd say you have him actually get with Alora. I think that that's, that, that's my thing. It's like, you know, cause she's clearly into him. Let's have that. Let's have that kind of thing. Let's, let's do it. Make Spyro happy. You know, give him a happy ending. Uh, not that kind of happy ending. Um, don't know how that anatomically, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't need to think about that. Um, but, um, yeah, like, it's, it's, I don't know, like, I think that'd be kind of cool, uh, you know, and I think they're actually, you know, actively having, uh, you know, Bianca and Hunter, like, you know, in a relationship in Spyro 4, I think would be great. Uh, anyway, we've got this, uh, invincibility, let's, what's this key? Is that none? No. Let's find out, what is the door? Do I even have a key? Oh, here it is, it's bloody in Okay, so if I catch this guy, do I get hurt? Will I get hurt? Ready? No. Okay, cool. All right, yellow key. Is that it? Yes, aha. Right, that didn't unlock, wait, what? What's going on here? Is this gonna open? No. Okay, I'm just gonna try more. No. This one. Yes. And another key. Although this time I didn't actually see that. What color? There you go. Oh, whoa. This is cool. This bug pot factory, like, yeah, I've actually never played it. Uh, and that's, like, not a joke. And you guys know that because of the stream. So I've never, I've never 100% percent of this, this, like, reignite, which is, you know, can you believe it? we're in 2024? But uh, that's all right. But, you know, I mean, what I've got planned after this, I was going to start something else, but uh, I'm just going to say it just now. What will be after this? We'll be finally continuing the Head Bash Apocalypse series, except the difference is, is it will be in widescreen with like the proper hacks, so it will look really cool. And I'm gonna implement the double jump, so it's gonna be kind of almost like the double jump guide, but like with like, you know, having, you know, kind of like Spyro 2, where I can like get out of these like broken areas. Because if you don't do that, it will kind of look, I think it won't, look, it won't be good. Like, as you saw in like some of those earlier parts of years ago, when you don't have the double jump, it's really kind of hard to get yourself out of like the, you know, the, the, the hole is, if you will, um, you know, of, 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 uh, of head bash pockets. Like, jeez, okay, spamming enemies here, spamming them. Spamming them like my phone every single day. You know, I'll get a text with like one of those things, it's like, oh, you know, you, you've got a parking fine, you've got this. It is like so dire. It's just everything in the world is out to get you. Remember when I got hacked last year? Everything out the, out in the world is, and this like sounds like conspiracy nut sort of thing, but it's like legitimately just everything exists to just basically like scam you in some way. And that's not like saying like, oh, don't trust society, but it's in like literally like in text messages, in phone calls, they literally just exist to do that. Like that's not an exaggeration. It just sucks. It's such a damn shame. You know, you can't like, you know, trust like phone calls or you can't trust like text because, you know, literally clicking the link will like spam your phone and like have people, people have their identity stolen and stuff like that. Like it's tragic. Anyway, this is a cool little arena here. I remember being a big fan of this. Uh, remember I was like, well, I think we're doing that. I was watching a speed run. I think again, it was like a Dan, Dan, uh, Dan Davidson speed run. Uh, and I remember being like really, you know, like impressed. I haven't seen the room for a while. I'm like, oh, I love this room. This is great. Anyway, it's, uh, this is easy. No, this is not too hard. That's a pretty easy boss. Done. All right. Annabelle. Wow. All right. You know what we're going to do? Because we're still under 15 minuti. Let's go. Let's go to. Let's play as. Uh, we'll go cheats. And. Let's go. Sergeant Bird. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
This is cool. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. This is this is really cool. Look at these. Just you know, this would be this is a good screenshot. Just hanging out. Although the annoying thing is like can't um can't like, like when you sit on it, so you look for here, it's like, oh there you go. There you go, that one, that one actually is all right. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. What is that thing? That is a weird face. Wow. Ah, oh, well, there we go. Oh, oh now, I'm, now I'm like not... Yeah, it was like... Okay, there you go. That's like a bit. That's better. All right, beautiful. All right, well, exit level. And in the next part, which is the final part, and by the way, I'm just getting ahead of it. I'm spoiling it. I will be showing off the epilogue from the original game because it's not in this game, which is just like genuinely like that's one of those things that like I'm sure if they had a few more months they would do it. It's like just it just wasn't done. Uh, what's the ability? Remember, oh. sparks can break open treasure chests, and using the guidebook warp you to any level you want. Okay, so this is a funny thing. Sparks can break, break open treasure chests. Okay, well basically, firstly, I can't show that off right now. Um, because it's nothing. I've got everything, right? See? Look, we're done. Oh! Icy Peak. Whoops. I swear I got that last time and I've got to get it again or something like that. Ah, you know what? Let's just go there now. But the thing is, we could already do that before. Right? We could already do that. Um, you know. Okay. I swear I already did this. Alright, let's just... I'm, I'm going this, I'm doing this. Back to cheats, and back to this. There we go. Oh, oh, it's not letting me. Oh, so dumb. Yes, there you go. Right. Sometimes, I don't know why it does that. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh see, look, I just dropped. I literally, that just dropped me dead. How strange. Um, oh, where would the last one be? I don't know. Yeah, I just swear I already did this before. That's the thing. Like, I, I literally thought like like 20 parts ago. So I, I, yeah. Anyway, I probably should turn the cheat off because it's not gonna. Yeah. See, see, look what it's doing. It's just like it keeps you flat to the ground. That's like that's like kind of some. Are you watch this ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't do that. Add the thing. Cheats. Get rid of that. And then do this. Oh. Oh, look! Look at the skybox though. It's the classic skybox. That's actually really nice. That's like, you know what? That kind of, that actually works. That makes it, that, and you know, I was thinking like this level kind of looks a bit more vibrant, you know? Um, but yeah, yeah, the, the whole thing is, yeah, they, they ran out of time or, or, or something like that. And just, it, it really takes away the energy. Like the one not having a guidebook, not having a separate guidebook, not having a separate atlas. I think that kind of thing is like, Genuinely, like it is disappointing, right? Like when you, when you, see if it's in here. Where could it be? You know, when you, when you have that opportunity to, you know, display the game in the way it was sort of, you know, in the classics. It's like that is like a massive thing. It's like you know, certain games don't care about the presentation of like their menus. It's just pretty basic, you know. It's like Ratchet and Clank didn't go crazy with it, but Spyro was like very, very unique. Two and three was like very, very unique, especially, especially the guidebook. I think the guidebook, everyone loves the guidebook, right? Uh, Anyway, I genuinely don't know where these where these uh, these are. So we're gonna find out. Maybe it's probably knowing my luck. It's probably like up there. Uh, that way. No. Okay. We're gonna go this way. We'll find out. I can't. If I didn't. If I didn't get this before, why did I wait? Like, why did I not check like way before as well? All right. Please be up here. Please be up here. No. Um, okay, not that one. Ah, uh, you know what? I just realized, like, this is what we do. Sergeant Bird to the rescue. Right, over here. Oh, oh. oh, here we go. Cheats. Sorry, back to Spyro. There you go. Back to Cheats again. This is, this is the most... Okay. Hey, what? Okay, cool. That's, that's really weird. That's like, that's actually really, it's really strange. Why would it not do it? Oh, here we go. This is what it's going to be, right? These guys. And what's the bat as well? 
that I haven't... Oh, God, how many do you reckon I've got? Oh, that one, yes. This is good. This is the official way of doing it. This is the beast way of doing it, look. This is, this is actually bird-on-bird -bird violence, which is pretty horrific, actually. That's pretty horrific. Right. What about this guy? That guy? Yeah. No. And I don't know. I need to get the sparks up for you over here. Come on. Yeah, by the way, I, I can't stop raving about this skybox. This looks so good. Okay, that's that one. Where is... Where hath a sparks been? Okay. There we go. Alright, so where could it be? Could it be in the secret area? Oh, nice. I can destroy that too. This is good. Alright. No, you can't destroy them though. Okay, fair enough. Alright. I think we already went down through here. Alright, maybe it's in the um, the challenge bit. Let's go down there. Not return home. Not yet, not quite yet. Alright. Should be in here. Still recovering from the strep throat, by the way. Alright, uh I need hold up, let me just let me just let me just lose a life. Let me lose a life so I can save some time. Okay. Where's Sparks? Oh, okay, that's interesting. It's like it's like I, it's like it registers that I'm not. Where's Sparks? Oh, you can't. Damn, I have to actually die. Um. Okay. This is silly. Watch this. Do that. Jeez. You know we're doing. We're making such good time, and then ICP had to happen. All right. Let's go again. Is it, is it back here? Nope, okay, what is going on? Where is this damn... Over there? I have no idea. Okay, there's another one there. Um, now for the rest. Oh, this one. And this one. Oh, there we go, done, okay. So it was actually in these. Ah, very creative, okay. Well, now, we can get back to the guidebook. Go back to Midnight Mountain, and everything should be open. We are 100, 100, 100. 100. That's the fourth one. Okie dokie. Onwards and upwards. Oh, look, 149 and 15. Wait, do we have it? I don't even check again. Oh, it's 7,000. Oh, hold up, hold up. Something very important. Money bags. Don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs. And I'm going to sell it for a fortune back at Avalar. Uh, uh oh. Why are you looking at me like that? I am. Uh, <laughs> I've got to be going now. Toodles. Toodles. All right. The ultimate revenge. Oh yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. Wait, I'm too fast for him. Money bag, you know, money bag's got pace. He's actually got pace. Look at the way he's flailing around. Let's get him. Yes, this is the best thing ever. Oh, too fast for the guy. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll do it like this. I'll, I'll make it torturous for you. Just constant flaming hot Cheeto. Oh, that's right there. Come on. Yeah. I can't even see. Oh, he's getting away. Oh, there you go. That's good. Just do that. Oh, you, can't, you can't make him worse. You can't. You want to, you want to, you want to, like, see it properly. If you get him too much, it's like, yeah, it's just, it's too much. It's going crazy. I actually, was it all like that in the original? I feel like there was, like, other colors, but maybe not. I know that, you know, the 25 gems are, are very efficient way of doing it. Maybe the gems actually didn't count as much in the original, like they were just, they're not, like these feel like they're actually like literally the gems, you know? If that makes sense, alright. Alright, jeez, I feel like this is longer than the original. Done. Drat. Double drat. Drat, 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 drat. I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it. I give up. 
I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. Ow, Miguel. Well, there we go. There we go. Alright, now off to that. And look, there you go. Look at that. That's actually a perfect view of the super bonus world. Super bonus round uh, turning, you know, like into that color. Uh, like, or like opening up the portal. Let's, let's go there now. Here we go. Ready. And super bonus round. There it is. All right, guys. In the next part, we're going to be going into super bonus round, the final part. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Good night. Bye-bye.